We decided we had to do this curriculum because um, I looked around the country, the doctors uh, attended various meetings, and um, some of them are very good, but they're always very scientifically oriented, you know, and they learn the science, um, and they're excited about the science, but they are never really taught how to take that science back to their practice, evaluate whether it's clinically useful or not, um, and then know how to order tests, you know, know how to counsel patients, uh, know which tests may or may not be covered by insurance. All the practical aspects of implementing uh, genomics in their practice doesn't seem to exist. My name is Christine Litwin Sanguinetti and I've been an obstetrician gynecologist at El Camino for 30 some years. Hi, I'm Stan Fishman. I'm a child psychiatrist and I'm also the uh, chairman of the Physician Advisory Committee to the Genomic Medicine Institute. My name is Karen Purcell, Dr. Karen Purcell. I'm a reproductive endocrinologist who specializes in fertility and fertility preservation. Hi, I'm Nurse Barb Barb Dean. I'm a women's health nurse practitioner. I'm Saul Eisenstadt. I'm a general surgeon. I've been here 30 some plus years. Hi, I'm Dr. Galina Ballon. I work for Palo Alto Medical Foundation in the Mountain View site. And I'm really excited because I see medicine changing so fast. As we peel back the layers to find what causes disease, what I'm discovering is that there's so many different components, genetic, familial. But I think in 10, 15 years, we're, all the ca diagnostic categories we currently have will be significantly modified based on, on uh, the genetic aspects of things. I came because this is the new, the new thing in medicine and I'm going to keep up with it. I think that all the doctors that are here are going to really feel like they walk away with so many more skills than they came in with. And for something like genomics, it's very obvious since none of us know anything about it, we really have a lot to learn.